Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about SCOM state dashboards. As the name indicates, state is used only for finding whether the object is in a critical or in a warning or an information state. So today I will demonstrate how to create the different different state dashboards in SCOM 2019. Open the operation manager console, then go to monitoring tab, right click, new, here you can see the different dashboards which are available in SCOM like alert view, event view, state view, performance view, diagram view, web page view, so on, right? I am concentrating mainly on state view today. Click on state view. Give the name to the state view, whatever you would like to see the data inside the dashboards. For example, I want to see Windows servers. I can give the name and description you can mention. Again, Windows servers or anything you would like to add, just add no issues in that. Then come down, show data related to. We need to select the object which one we need to add here. Just click on the, these three dots. <coughs> View all targets. Search for the particular target Windows. Windows computer, you can select. Then click on OK. Changing the target type will delete my criteria and you have currently set in any column settings you want to continue. Just click on yes. So now we will see the data whatever present inside the Windows computer class. Okay. And at the below we can also specify the conditions. What type of health state we want? We want only critical or uh, warning such kind, right? We can select it here. If you select critical in the dashboard, you will see only critical state view. If you want to warning, then so click on warning. You will see only warning state servers or uh, logical disk, whatever are selected. Such details only you will see. And just clear all. I will <coughs> select default so that it will take all the state conditions. Is maintenance mode. If it is in a maintenance mode, then only it will display. Right. Like that you can have a lot of options here based on that you can select. I am going with the default one here. And even the show data contains specific object also just leave as it is as it is. Click on OK. So this will create a new uh, state dashboard for Windows computer. I mean Windows servers. As you can see right Windows servers state dashboard is already created on monitoring tab. And just refresh. Yeah, started appearing servers also here. These are my Windows servers present in my environment. So this is uh, one way to create a dashboard for the state view. And I will give another example of state dashboard by creating logical disk state dashboards. State view. I'm going to see only logical disk of all the servers. Then click on the three dots class. Here search for the particular class. I want logical disk, right? So just expand the target. Here, here you will see Windows Server 2012 logical disk and 2016 logical disk. In my environment, only 2016 are there, so I am selecting 2016. If you want 2012, you can select. Then click on OK. Yes. Again, here also you will find a different settings here. Whatever the state you want with the uh, uh, health state or is in maintenance mode or <coughs> specific display time or specific display name so you should give the conditions based on that you will see the results in the dashboard so i want all the logical disk information nothing like uh, what and critical i want all the information so i'm just leaving with the default states click on ok so this will create a new dashboard that to state dashboard for the logical disk purpose let me wait for one minute. It is saving. Okay, it has created. You can see it. Right? Healthy name C and this uh, C drive is present on MS01. Likewise, SQL01 contains T drive. DC01 contains C drive. So it will display all the Windows Server operating system 26 logical disk here. Right, this is what you need to create and i will take another example so when you um, 
open the windows computers whatever given by default it includes all the management servers as well as agents right if you want to filter only the agents you don't want uh, management servers inside that so just i'm just creating for that so i'm giving the name as agents select the object we want targets select agent here instead of going into a uh, windows computer select agents so that it will display only agents which is under scom monitoring so let me try this agents click on ok yes i don't want to give any specific conditions ok verification failed ok it's not giving just close let me change this we want targets agents uh, let me try for this management pack system center code library agent ok yes okay it is saving now maybe this will give the result the result contains only the agent details nothing else yeah you can see right dc01 sql01 sql2 and dc02 these are my four agent servers but when you go to windows computer you will see both management servers and also the agent servers so you can see right in the management server this uh, ms02 and ms01 are my management server so in it including both management server as well as agents if you want to go for only agents then you can use this state dashboard method to create only for the agents so like this we can create a different different stat dashboards however you want so so far we have created for agents and logical disk and windows servers let me try for any new one here click on state view <coughs> I would like to create for let me search Windows client at this moment I don't have Windows client but if you want to see the uh, state of the Windows client computers then you can go for this Windows client then select OK OK and give the name here Windows client click on ok but at this moment it is not going to display any results because i don't have windows client computers in my environment so but in case if you want to see windows client separately then this is the method you can use now it is uh, blank as you can see because i don't have any client computers when we go to administration and in the agent managed only these uh, four servers are there and these all are windows 2016 so that's what you are not seeing any windows client computer list here okay this is how you need to create the state dashboards likewise as i said you have other dashboards options also available here like alert view state view um, different events are there i will I'll, I'll explain one by one in another video okay let me try for event view now so just i will give as event i want to monitor the event 7036 or any event specifically you want to monitor or you can leave with a default name like event and then select the object on which this event id should be check, checked i want to check this one on windows computers select windows computer click on ok so now you need to specify the particular conditions here like generated by specific event number specific event number is 7036 so whenever this event id appear then it will be captured and showing this particular dashboard if you want to add a multiple event ids here then you need to put a semicolon after each event id ok then click on ok then finally if you want to add other conditions like from where it is coming source and all you can add it so for time being i am just adding only event number then click on ok so that's com will fetch the 7036 event id from all the monitoring agents and put it in the in this particular dashboard so that's how you can create the dashboard for the event view you can create however you want it's not only for 7036 you can go for 1074 that is for rebooting the server right so you can filter for 1074 so that you will get at what time the server rebooted and who all are rebooted all the information you can get here for example if you take 7036 it is for service running state right you can see that description same thing system center data access service enter into running state 
and it also captured from where it is coming like source system name at what time it captured all these information are available let me take another example like event view so this time i'll go for event as i said 107 for i'm not sure whether this event is existed or not on any of the machine just for demonstration i'm taking click on specific 1074 usually this event id comes when the server get rebooted if any server rebooted that information will be stored here let me check i'm not sure whether it existed or not we'll see Seven one zero seven four. Yeah, the state dashboard is created. Yeah, but it is not appearing because no such events were present here. But this is a you need to create. As I said, this is for seven zero seven zero three six. Whenever seven zero three six appeared on any of the agent machine, that information will be captured and put it inside this particular tab, so that it will be easy for anyone to see uh, if they are looking for any particular ID. This is how you need to create the event view. So in this session, we have discussed two dashboards. One is state dashboard, another one is event dashboard. We'll come up with remaining dashboards in the further videos. Thank you so much. <coughs>